No, it's only probability. The probability wise, we would have made the cryogenic technology perfect as originally planned. Originally, our planning was cryogenic, we should have it by the year 2000, 1999 or 2000. That was our planning. Of course, this problem started in 94, five years earlier. If the Russian contract would have gone through, we would have got the cryogenic technology without any difficulty. But even when the Russian contract broke, if this November 30th episode has not taken place, I feel I would have continued the work on the cryogenic and we would have met the schedule. Maybe one year delay, could be. Which means what? Which means you have a higher payload carrying capability. Which means that you could compete in the international market for launching satellites. At that time, you must remember that the potential launch market, satellite market itself was in the order of about $300 billion. It, it, it is a, a large money. I am not saying that you will get all the $300 billion, but if it is 50% or 25%, it's still a huge money, number one. And why I say this money will come to us? Because ours is a reliable system. I told you earlier that the Vikas engine has never failed. Now, A, you are reliable, and B, your cost is one third of others' cost. So it's a political market. A country which likes you will come to you automatically, and a country which is neutral will come to you because of the cost, and a country who doesn't like you will never come to you and you don't bother about it. So, but the point I am making is we would have made the cryogenic system much earlier. Then from there on, as you know very well, we have not planned for interplanetary travels because Professor Dhawan made it very clear that he will do the, the, the planning only up to the launch vehicles for satellites. He wanted the next generation to take care of that. Now that planning would have started. See, what you saw, Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan, are only time pass kind of uh, projects. You know, we had the system, so why not we try that? And we successfully did that, Mangalyaan. We were only experimenting it. How uh, the payload was peanut. It is, uh, I think it's about 15 kg or so. So the Chandrayaan, Mangalyaan things would have gone. And then uh, eventually we would have moved closer to Gaganyan, what we are talking about, would have been realized. Then you will be competing with, I don't know, you, you see around you, you have an Elon Musk, you have uh, other people who are uh, conducting space tourism, you are conducting uh, so many things and you know, we, we would have become a powerful uh, space country from there onwards. How it will uh, grow up is something which, which is to be seen because we didn't plan it that way, but I'm sure you will not be in this state set of affairs what you are today. You would have achieved a very high carrying capability, business-wise, commercially. Plus, you would have also started the routing for the space uh, travel, what you are talking about. One, zero, plus one, two, three, four, five, six of normal, seven, eight, nine, Perfect lift off. Over 200 lift offs have been possible because of one man. PSL been negotiating the dense atmosphere. The brilliant Nambi Narayanan was part of the core team at ISRO. A genius that even NASA wanted to get their hands on. In 1994, he successfully thrust India to the PSLV era. Conveniently, days later, Nambi Narayanan was branded a spy and put behind I'm bars. A rocket scientist. We are just getting started. Just as India was at the precipice of making it in the space race, a well timed cocktail of political motivations, honey trapping claims, and a global conspiracy derailed it all. More than few decades ago, a hard-working and patriotic ISRO scientist, Nambi Narayan, was implicated in a false case just because a few UDF leaders were setting political scores. 
Swami Narayanan was later acquitted and vindicated. Sri Shankar Lingam Nambi Narayanan Vigyan Evam Engineer. But his fight for justice is far from over. This is the story the nation needs to know on The Nation Wants to Know.